and I'm about to get shipped out too. I was told you might be able to help me. They hit where? Welcome to Serta. Be safe. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. Who are we? Can I help you? I'm looking for a Drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keprel's syndrome. At its worst, Keprel's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Kalahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Kalahira, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Kolyat? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. 
Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low-gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant OMB? No, Private. We are not. Matt, I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garva. Protean tech could help the cruise. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. 
I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now... I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain, but I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks.
What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Our intel is minimal. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. bring this down on their heads. Push! Push forward! Maybe we can flag these guys. Watch for it. They are up. Will do. Jacob, how bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Thanks, and you as well. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. You know this guy, Jacob? More ex Cerberus? Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. 
We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, as it were. Something like that. Dr. Gavin Archer. I imagine we both crossed the elusive man in our own way. How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of people. I've done things no human should. There I was. With blood on my hands, blood I could never wash away. The elusive man didn't care. He said our goal was greater than any sacrifice it took to attain it. That's what happens when you sleep with the devil. I take it the elusive man didn't just let you resign. <laughs> A man who loves to lecture about morality's shades of grey, he's very black and white when it comes to obedience. Either you do the job, or you die trying to quit. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Over. An experiment attempting to find non-violent methods for controlling the Geth. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by decrees. Suffice it to say, things didn't end well. How did it go wrong? Serendipity, I'm afraid. The Geth were unresponsive to my attempts to communicate with them. Until my younger brother David made a breakthrough. He was an autistic savant, a mathematical genius. In no time, he'd mastered the Geth language and was communicating with them. You're saying he could speak directly with the Geth? It was rudimentary at first, so I decided to take the next step. Tap David straight into their network. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage of information. It drove him insane. Did David volunteer for this? The elusive man kept pushing for results. I was eager to please him. It seemed harmless at first. So you forced your brother to do that? Believe me, it's a nightmare I relive every night. He went berserk. His mind became a computer virus that infected all our systems. He killed dozens of lab personnel. We finally had to detonate nuclear weapons over the base to stop the havoc. That's all, Doctor. I appreciate your help. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? Forty-three. Plus research assistants. How did you maintain secrecy with that many? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? That just upped the ante. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. 
Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Chuck, I'm in here. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened here? Haunts me more like... Anything on Cerberus? The elusive man became... You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I remember him being an idealist. Don't beat yourself up. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people. You bet. Back online now. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Liara, I need you to fix this. You got it. 
Ready, Ash? Just you and me. You bet, Shepard. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here! Shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up, then get out to the landing pad. Right behind you. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Okay, let's get these. Here we go! Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. 
One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got it. Just need to hold them a little longer. That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! The place is overrun! We gotta go! Can't kill you with the shuttle! Understood. Jacob, landing area cleared. This place is crawling! Bring the shuttle to you! Roger that! of our teeth again, hey, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on midcore. would like to speak with you down in engineering. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a pass. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Adams would like to speak to you. You should go see Adams, Commander. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload pos- Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been- You see, the venting occurs when I- Look, What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. 
Thanks, Commander. Cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ego core private to lobby? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel expected. Fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Spectre status recognized. One please moment, please. please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Have announced an alliance with the Cuban military against the Reapers. See you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the... Elite? My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but... I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't.
Alice, recognize. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D-24. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. Outstanding. Signal confirmed. something. Dig up any information on the mission, Lyra? A sorry high command hid a lot from us. You're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? No. These Ardat Yakshi lived in the monastery so they wouldn't or couldn't harm anyone. However, they're still powerful biotics and potentially very dangerous. That's why high command sent commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So the Asari throw us at the problem? What's the plan? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here.
The elevator appears non-functional. Stay sharp. You won't believe what Yannis managed to smuggle in. I'll call the other I heard something. Oh, that was me. Sorry. You won't believe what Yannis managed to smuggle in. It's gonna be so great. Stay there. Oh, and Elisa told you to listen to it. Not my last time. Reapers. Looks like we know what made the Asari commandos go silent. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want without that Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with a nav point location for a bomb. It's planted inside the monastery's great hall. If the Asari want to blow up their own monastery, I say we help them out. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. It's great you two know each other, but how'd you find this place? I know the monastery well. My daughters live here, and I came to find them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. My name is Tashia Pori. This was likely the Reaper's initial attack site. Think the monastery got any warning? Few signs of resistance. I'd say very little warning.
there. You came! As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother! Been... They have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing for her. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Valer? I'm sorry. Valer! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Most of the damage to the monastery is cosmetic. Really? A remarkable amount of this complex is structurally intact. For now. And Falaire. Oh, 
Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. All clear. For now, let's get back to that bomb. for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! even time to say goodbye few can break the reaper's hold Rila's will was extraordinary as was her love for you we left her to die Rila made her choice and it has reminded me of what is truly important why I swore I'd lay down my life what is that Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so... Let... Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. 
It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the Monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough.